assuming you've watched my other videos in this video we're going to construct and analyze the truss bridge that I've been talking about the Detroit uh, footbridge I've opened the new file and I'm going to use the copy and paste method to insert joints and members uh, into LinPro as you can see I've already got a table of the coordinates for the joints in Excel I'm just going to copy them and then I'm going to go back to LinPro and click on the joints and coordinates and then I'm going to click paste and then make sure the tab is selected and click import as you can see I've created the nodes that are required and I'm just going to turn off the grid now because we're not going to need it now I'm going to import the or rather paste the coordinates for the, the elements we're just going to do it the same way that we did with the joints just copy go back to LinPro and paste it's the same procedure as you can see I've created the model it's really easy to do it that way and very fast now we're going to look at supports just going to create a support at the zero joint and at joint six the one at joint six is going to be support on rollers as shown now I'm going to add the loads to the bottom joints by selecting all the bottom joints and then right clicking one of the joints add load in the y direction and I want it to go downwards so I'll put minus 100 kilonewtons and then apply load now I've got the loading down I'm going to run the analysis just to make sure that the model is okay but as you can see I've got moments in all my members and we don't want that so I'm going to go back to the structure to fix this we need to release the the members at the joints so we're going to start with this one and release it as a moment release at joint 0 and at joint 7 and we're just going to I'm just going to go through this whole procedure of releasing joints if you want you can fast forward the video but what I'm going to be doing is just releasing joints until all the members are uh, assumed to be pinned you notice you also notice that when I release the joints and only one member one member has to be connected to the joint for the analysis to be valid and when one member is connected you see that a gray dot is, is shown there on the joint so I'm going to leave all the vertical um, members connected to the joints and I'm going to release the rest of the other members surrounding that joint
make sure that all the all the joints are gray before you proceed to do the analysis again. I'm going to run the analysis again and as you can see now check the moments and the other moments are zero so the model is fine and we can check other areas such as the axial forces which shows that the top part is in uh, compression compression and the bottom part is in tension you can also see the tabulated values of each and every single member as well as you can if you can't see them members of uh, the numbers visually you can increase them by just using those two buttons and decreasing it back always remember to save your work before continuing and uh, the results for the analysis are going to uh, in the same PDF folder that you took for the hand calculations and there's a comparison to show that the model that has been created is a valid model. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.